Welcome back to The Helpful Home. I'm Sunday Dawn, and this is going to be video number one in a series that I'm calling Organizing Every Photo I Own, because it is going to be just that. As you can see from these Polaroid posters that I made for my daughter's graduations, photos are a huge part of our family life around here. I love to take them, and my family loves to look at them. And this, intended for a linen closet space, has been my photo storage for a number of years. It worked well for me for a time, and this is how not well it's working for me now. So as you can see, there's some organization underneath the layer of clutter that has grown over the front of it during two daughters' weddings in one year, um, emptying their bedrooms for them to move on with their lives. And then just like anybody else, I think even though I'm a pretty organized person at heart, when something starts to lose its shape or or take on a little bit of clutter, I, I lose all hope and I give up because it can't be perfect. So there's some mayhem going on down there that I'm not even sure what is, but let's sort through it together and give ourselves a good starting point for organizing every photo I own. I really feel like step one of this process is to empty the entire space. And so you want to give yourself a really large open area to do that in so that you can empty it, see what you've got, do your sorting and make a really good game plan. I chose my living dining area because I can use the dining table, I can move the coffee table and use that whole area rug for organization. I'm pulling out the photo storage and clutter shelf by shelf so as not to get myself overwhelmed. And here's my sorting method, the photo storage separate from the clutter, which is to the right. I'm four shelves down, so it should be that I've dealt with the bulk of the mayhem, but the mayhem really is in this bottom area where there is no shelving or organization. And so it collected a lot of the memorabilia coming out of my daughter's bedrooms and a lot of their schoolwork. I believe extra frames, for some reason placemats, I'm really not sure what that's about. And it's time to really sort through that, oh, baby books, those need to be dealt with, Project Lifestyle. So let's take a peek. It's going to look kind of like I've got it all together here with my organized photo boxes, half of which are empty, and I will explain that in a moment. But there was a lot of photos, memorabilia, paper clutter that had kind of been collecting and not placed in a home. So I'm currently in the process of taking all my old albums and changing them into Project Life albums. And so these are things that I need to incorporate into the albums I've done. And for realsies, what the heck is even down here? It looks like maybe the aftermath of some photo projects I was doing for my daughter's graduations and some bridal shower paraphernalia and a sadly beheaded music box from my daughter's grandfather when she was born sad casualty okay so we have an empty closet and here i guess i'm going to give you a peek of my project life album storage unit i do like to keep a splattering of my family's favorite memories here those were my brown leather bound project life albums you just zoomed past that's how many i've completed i'm doing one per year and I began by emptying each of my albums into a photo box. So those old sticky albums we had back in the day, gently pull your photos out of those, place them in photo boxes so you can start fresh with your new albums. And as you can see, it is starting to get real around here as I start to sort through that pile at the bottom of the closet, as well as pulling things out of the storage boxes I have and making some sense of what I have left to sort, organize, and project life. I purchased a new system at Ikea to put back into the closet. I measured my space, made sure I made good use of it, and pared down to not have so many boxes so that I, the boxes I have are just ones I need to complete my album journey. There is Rufus, sweet little man that he is, guarding my photos for me. And um, those are some baby books in the middle there. And I will have some tips and tricks for dealing with slightly unfinished baby books, as most of us do, Project Lifestyle, which I'm really excited about, uh, later in the series. Here's a look at some of the clutter that gathered at the bottom of my photo closet. I do have a home for frames that I'm not using. I will show that tip and trick during my office tour. And I do have 
memory box storage for my girls. And that's where a lot of this childhood paraphernalia will go. I will show that also during my office tour. Okay, so spoiler alert, this is the closet for my office slash craft room. And it does get a mini makeover. And the spoiler is that these are the Robin's eggshell finish storage boxes from Ikea, which need assembled. They're gonna hold all my photo storage while I finish out my project life journey. And the spoiler is that this is where my photos find their home. Ultimately, that linen closet just does not work for me and I keep the, the photos close to where I work. And it wouldn't be from Ikea if you didn't have to assemble it. I find Ikea is a wonderful place for storage solution inspiration. And then they have really good prices on your storage solutions. So I found these beautiful Robin's egg finish photo boxes in three different sizes. It took me maybe a half an hour to assemble them and get them ready for their new home. And here they are all assembled and ready to be filled and labeled. I did specifically measure them to fit in the linen closet storage that I had previously been using and was very fortunate that they did fit in my new office closet as well. Here is what it looks like while trying to sort what goes in what new box and what I want to keep on each shelf. I've gone through the process of a lot of purging and now I'm kind of just trying to decide where to put what I'm keeping. This certainly isn't an indication of what the after will be, but as you can see, I'm stacking what is gonna go on each shelf and I'll be replacing it with the new boxes. Starting to see some progress here as my many piles I had going on my area rep are starting to get moved into the new boxes and onto the new shelves. Here I have hit that is my memorabilia pile from childhood and I'm not dealing with those yet, but I am gonna find those a home with my husband's memorabilia from childhood. And I would like to create us our own Project Life album, just one for the both of us. Still have to deal with that pile of memorabilia, and I'll be showing you a tour of what's in these baskets and in my Project Life shelving soon. Mostly memorabilia from this current year. So I will be taking those graduation announcements, my Disneyland paraphernalia from our vacation, um, my Christmas card photos, and placing them in Project Life folders in this yearly album. We have hit the post-it stage, which in each of my organizational projects, there will always be a post-it stage. Sometimes it's in the beginning while I'm sorting my piles, and sometimes it's just prior to labeling. So I have filled my boxes, I'm getting ready to create my labels. Sometimes I use my great-grandfather's typewriter, which makes nice, clean, concise labels. That's what I do for my actual albums. Um, for these, I may just use pencil because I'm a pencil girl. I like to erase and this larger box I'm keeping my children's artwork from grade school and Projects from high school and their baby books and memorabilia in this one and Thank goodness. I am getting there I have still got the tchotchkes to go through and find homes which my daughters do have memory trunks in my office Which I will show you on my office tour, but looking good and in all fairness, this would have been my after, but it did not turn out to be my after. So I'll give you a little shot of this. These are filled, they aren't yet labeled, but all of the photos are ready to go in a much more concise order where I can get to what I need to get to work on that year's album. I do end up transferring this into my office closet, which my office gets a mini makeover because doesn't one project just beget another project. But uh, this two day photo sort turned into a little bit of an office revamp where I decided to keep my photos closer to where I scrapbook. This is my office after its little refresh. Um, it just got a coat of paint and new curtains is all, but sometimes that's all you need to refresh a space. And since this is where I work on my photo organization and my photo albums and journaling, I do sort of a hybrid scrapbook. I am not a typical scrapbooker and we'll get into that in a future episode. Also, I'll show you how this map style storage chest has been completely life-changing on how I sort my photos for doing current albums. That is from Ikea. And the next episode will be a tour of my kind of the innards of my craft room slash office and how I organize all the photos I own inside it for the current albums I'm working on and the current projects I'm working on. Here's just a quick shot of the decor, I guess you would say, of the room. 
um, a lot of Harry Potter paraphernalia. That was uh, my youngest daughter's just passion growing up. So we have a lot of her special things up there. Um, a few Disney things, a couple Lord of the Rings things. We're, we're super geeky. I like to keep a lot of special items in my office as well. That clock at the top of my soap storage chest was my great-grandfather's. It was from where he worked when he retired and my husband worked there for a number of years. The painting on the wall was above my piano growing up and when my grandmother passed away, I took that. Um, we just passed my grandfather's suitcase, his beautiful brown leather suitcase. So I like to keep things that inspire me and remind me of like family and your heritage for while I'm doing something like memory keeping. But then again, you got to store your off-season wreaths. And so there's my off-season wreaths, you know. An office slash craft room sort of has to serve many purposes. That barometer in my closet was in my great grandmother's laundry room and I always was so amazed by it. So it didn't really find a home within my home. And so I wanted to keep it in this space just again to keep me in touch with my heritage and my family history. This is where my storage bins for every photo I own that is not currently in an album has landed. These boxes are the current years that are coming up so I can continue to print photos and place memorabilia in each one of those boxes as a next year. Um, I have stored my items for working, like here is, I believe this is rubber stamps, washi tape, that sort of thing. And underneath is craft paper supply. So I organized those and left myself a little room to grow. Over here on the side, I have framing projects because girl is always doing a gallery wall. And I believe up here are my Project Life card kits. So I will show you those also soon in an upcoming episode when we sort of take apart an album and show you how I do that. I like to keep um, cards and special things, but I don't really like to just have them out cluttering up my space. So I keep them in this closet where I can see them and enjoy them. This is where my Disneyland photo storage went because I have started redoing Disney albums as well. And I'm really excited just to take you all along on this journey. This is episode one of many of organizing every photo I own, but I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like to tackle the initial sort. So come on back soon for episode two of organizing every photo I own. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button.